Much of the major growth that is coming to the church in the last days will come because many of the good women of the world, in whom there is often such an inner sense of spirituality, will be drawn to the church in large numbers. This will happen to the degree that the women of the church reflect righteousness and articulateness in their lives, and to the degree that the women of the church are seen as distinct and different in happy ways from the women of the world. My dear sisters, you who are our vital associates during this winding up scene, the day that President Kimball foresaw is today. You are the women he foresaw. Your virtue, light, love, knowledge, courage, character, faith, and righteous lives will draw good women of the world along with their families to the church in unprecedented numbers. We need your strength, your conversion, your conviction, your ability to lead, your wisdom, and your voices. The kingdom of God is not and cannot be complete without women who make sacred covenants and then keep them. Women who can speak with the power and authority of God. Whatever your calling, whatever your circumstances, we need your impressions, your insights, and your inspiration. We need you to speak up and speak out in ward and state councils. We need each married sister to speak as a contributing and full partner as you unite with your husband in governing your family. Married or single, you sisters possess distinctive capabilities and special intuition you have received as gifts from God. We brethren cannot duplicate your unique influence. We know that the culminating act of all creation was the creation of woman. We need your strength. I thank you, my dear sisters, and bless you to rise to your full stature, to fulfill the measure of your creation as we walk arm in arm in this sacred work. Together, we will help prepare the world for the second coming of the Lord. Of this I testify as your brother. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs>